my name is Tina and this is my first ever monthly favorite of the month of May. I really didn't want to do a monthly favorite because I don't really change my products a lot but I have noticed that I've been using and going back through some products that aren't really that new you know you can just go back and the monthly favorites doesn't have to be like new products every time it could be you know because I went back to it and I've just noticed that I've used some of the different products this month than what I've used in the other month but anyways so this is my first one and I hope you guys liked it and if you guys do like it then I'll probably do it every month now so first off um, I've been starting to take care of my hair you know because I've been doing a lot of things with it and you know I style my hair a lot and this is my favorite product for my hair ever since I bought it actually it's not just this month but I've been loving the Trustamay Heath Control um, actually it's called Thermal Creations but you know I really really like it it's a heat tamer leave-in spray and it smells <laughs> and it smells really good I like the smell of it and it's only 350 guys so I think it's gonna be super worth your money and it's you know it's a catch while we're still not in the makeup section I'm well kind of ish I'm going to get my favorite brushes that I've been using because I do notice that I, I do change it from time to time so these are my favorite brushes and as you can see it's all dirty because I have been using it a lot and guys let me just tell you you have to clean your brushes a lot because you know I kind of broke out because I didn't get to clean my foundation brush for a long time so it doesn't mean that you're reacting to a product but it's also because your brush isn't clean so that's a lesson that I learned this month. So first off, the Real Techniques Buffing Brush. I love it for my liquid foundations because I do wear liquid foundation because I do wear liquid foundations every day. So I do love this. Gives me um, a not not <laughs> gives me a not so um, full coverage, but it does the job pretty well. And actually, really love it because it's a Matthew Chapman's brush. So this one, and then for powdering, I either use a flat top one, so you know, just you know, pat it down I really like this this is only 149 pesos and I can, you can buy this in landmark guys so I really like this although I don't like it in the inner parts because it's kind of hard to reach in but I have, I have been using it a lot this month also for a powder brush that I use that isn't really a powder brush it's this tapered Sigma brush and yeah it's a tapered face brush and I use it because you know it's tapered it reaches inside the corners pretty well Mm, and it's so soft, you know, Sigma is really good brand for brushes. Uh, next, I use this a lot for contouring now because I actually don't want a very um, strong contour. So I just use this fluffy one to, to just, you know, like kind of warm my face out a bit. You know, it looks like you're actually a bit tan. So I, la I like this one, Real Techniques again. And then this is called the Blush Brush. And then for blush, I actually use this one. It's a really, really cheap um, angled brush from Landmark. You can also buy this really cheap. I forgot how much it is. It's probably less than 100 pesos. But I use it for my for my blush. Yeah, I've been using this a lot. And for my highlight, I'm using this tapered small brush, tapered, tapered highlighter brush from Sigma. So I think it's just perfect for highlighting your face so yeah that one for my eyes um i don't really use anything special you know to put the color in but for blending it i use this one and once again you can buy this on landmark and it's really cheap i think this is only 60 pesos as well as this one i use this for blending and i can guys you can also use this for your liquid concealers i think it works pretty well but trina doesn't like it but you know you just gonna have to try it yourself but yeah i like this one for blending i like this one for concealing this one I like to um, use for the edges of my crease and it works pretty well. It's very, very dense. I really like this for packing on the colors on the inner creases. And for putting color on my lower lashes, I really love this one. This is once again from Sigma. It's called a short shader brush and it's very, very stiff so it can really pack on the colors to your lower lashes. So that's it. Now moving on to the makeup. For the liquid foundation, I've been using this three and you know, I've been mixing them again. Um, this one, it's a 
Everbelena Pro Flawless Finish Foundation. I actually went back to this because I've had this, you know, for a long time. It's pretty dirty, and I have been loving this again. Um, I think this is in a medium coverage, and it's not meant for oily skin, but it does give me quite a dewy look when I use it because I have combination skin, so I do like this. And then BB Cream, I also like the... Fanny Serrano BB Cream and I'm in Mistiza and I actually really like this although sometimes I feel like it's a little too white on my face especially with flash um, photography it, it will look white because you know it has SPF UV protection so yeah I don't like this for you know like a normal day but I do like mixing this with foundations aka the L'Oreal Lumi Magic foundation love this so much if you guys want a dewy foundation this would be best for you and this one is darker than my skin tone the girl gave me the wrong shade and I mixed this together and it's just dewy amazing it's just awesome so anyways I don't like all of my face to be dewy so I do powder it once again silk funny serrano 2 way cake you know what's new and I found this amazing product. Well, I didn't find it, but she gave it to me from Snowy Beauty. The, the loose powder that they have. I love the packaging. It's really nice. I really like the packaging. It looks kind of vintage -y. Love it. This was given to us and replaced, you know, for the shoot that we made. And I love it. Like, there are products of Snowy that I don't like. Like, the lotion. It smells really, eh. The vanilla one. I don't like it. But my god, I love this product. It smells so good. It smells really good. And coverage of this is pretty good for loose powder. And it does its job pretty well. And that's out my face. And it stays like that for quite a long time. And it has an SPF 30. So that's pretty good as well. And I am in warm honey, guys. So may I just say, if I'm in warm honey, if you're darker, then you're probably going to need a darker foundation. So, yeah. And I don't think they have a lot of range with the shades of the foundations but yeah i'm in warm honey if so if you're around my skin tone i'm an nc25 so that would be a super great lace powder for you okay moving on <sighs> concealer loving still i've used this for quite a long time now you see i've hit pan already and this is the everbalena pure beige concealer i don't think they sell this in all branches anymore so you're lucky if you have this. For the key lie or my eyebrows, I've been using, but I didn't use it now. I've been using the MAC Brow Brow Gel Cream, Fluid Line Gel Cream, and I'm in Redhead. And I really love this. It stays on a long time. And I think it's quite waterproof if you ask me. It's usually when I sweat and I, you know, I go like this a lot, it usually fades off, but this doesn't. And I really like it. And it's 1100 I don't know the price of this, no. It's 1100 and I really think it's worth your money. Let's go downwards, okay? So, favorite eyelash um, mascara is the Fanny Serrano Lash Extra Begins love this so much i'm using it under but you know you don't see it but i love this kind of more than the fashion 21 double up mascara except that i think it's a little bit messy the the one has two sides and it's flat but it has two sides it curves to the side a little bit and you can use the one curve like that on your lower lash and you can use the inwardly curved side with the upper lashes and it works really well it extends my lashes a million miles so i really 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 love this to the cheeks um i've been loving the nichido three um blush this brush powdered blush trio by nichido i really like it you can use this for contouring but it's a little bit too orangey sometimes but if you don't want to use a contour um blush then you can just use this one you know to your cheeks and then this one is a really lovely pinky orangey color this one is a very like almost pale but it's really it's very pigmented guys this one is like a peachy color you know if you look at it like this you wouldn't think that it's that pigmented and really and really you know the camera is really flashing out the color well the lights are but yeah it looks really nice see it's peachy and I love it so much I've been using this almost every day and for highlighting, I'm using the e.l.f. Um, highlighter and this is 
Sun Kissed and I love this so much. It's yellowy, but I do love it. If you're Morena and you're looking for a good highlighter, this would be best on you. Um, I use this a lot even if I'm fair just because I like the yellow shimmer on it. But yeah, if you're Morena, this would be amazing on your skin. Okay, now for the lips. I've been using, of course, just the Revlon tint. But I'm not using it right now. I've been using this almost every single day. And what I do is I put a little bit and then I just spread it with my fingers. And it will stay on for the day. Which I love. That's why I love stained lipsticks. And also, I discovered the red, this red one from e.l.f. And it's amazing. And it's matte. And it's not drying. Which, you know, some matte lipsticks do. It's not. It's e.l.f. and it's called Rich Red. I posted a picture of this on my Instagram once again, so please do follow me if you guys want updates. And usually I post pictures when I really, really love a product. So this one. And then the third one, I also posted a picture about this and I'm using it right now. This is the Fashion 21 Hot Diva in the Pink Obsession line. And I'm using it right now. I just dabbed and tried it on my finger. Like so. If you apply this really fully, like without spreading them, it looks really, really nice too. And it's really like a very fuchsia pink. It's a hot pink and I love it. Works really well with my hair color right now. Also posted a picture of this on Instagram. So please do check that picture out if you do want to see the full swatch maybe of this. Then yeah, okay. What else? Oh, for my hair. I've been loving the Manic Panic hair color and I'm using it right now, obviously. So, I bought this in, well, Trina bought this for me in America. So, I don't really know where you can buy this here in the Philippines. But there are a lot of online shops that do sell them. So, check it out. Try it. But it will stay in your hair. So, if it's a risk that you want to take, then do it. It's really awesome. I really love Manic Panic. Poppin' tanks! So, yeah, that was my um, May favorites. And please do comment down below if you like seeing this monthly favorites for me. You know, if you want me to do it, then comment it down below. And if there's a lot, then, you know, I probably would do it every month if you guys would like that. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Uh, I think it's gonna take forever. But, you know, that's my favorite. I liked a lot of the products. You know, what can I do? But, yeah. So, if you guys have any questions, please do contact me on my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and on Tumblr. And, yeah. Links will be down in the description box. I don't know what else to say. So, I'm just gonna end it before I, you know, make this video any longer than it already is. I'm babbling again. See? That's it. Bye. God bless. Mwah.